we'd like to welcome you. This is our first week of, uh, of our new book in our young adults class. It's The Holy Spirit uh, by John Bevere. And um, uh, the Holy Spirit is more than just knowledge, more than just a good thought, more than a feeling even. Although we know we do like feeling God's presence and we love uh, what the Holy Spirit does for us and in us. But the Holy Spirit, he's not an it, he is a person. And he lives and wants to dwell inside of every believer. Yes, we're sealed by the Spirit at, uh, when we're saved, but I, I believe there's more. There's a baptism and the filling of the Holy Spirit. And that's what we're after there. That's where the real power is. So we have my brother-in-law, Jeremy, here with us today. Um, and he's been in our class, and we're going to ask him a few questions. So, Jeremy, what are some things that have really stood out to you in this first chapter that we went over uh, that uh, have maybe been some revelation to you on the uh, on the Holy Spirit. I really enjoy how um, John Bevere has laid out his book. It's very uh, conversational and very uh, easy to understand. He brings out a lot of good points uh, about the person of the Holy Spirit here in the in our first week of, of devotions and of reading. Uh, one of the things that John brings out is the the importance of the Holy Spirit us understanding Him as a as a person and not an it. So many people. Uh, refer to the Holy Spirit rather than a Him. He's it, and and we, when we make Him personal, which is who He is, He's as personal as Jesus or as God the Father. That's right. And we bring Him to that level. It, it, it elevates our want to and our desire as a Christian too to want to submit to the Lordship of Jesus even further. When we recognize that the Holy Spirit is an extension of Jesus' personality and who Jesus is, and all the things that God the Father is. Um, so that's that's one important thing that we we discussed this week in, in our study. Yeah, and one thing that we actually talked about in, in a class that uh, that John had brought to is that is that the Holy Spirit he is actually the manifester of what God has architect or what what he has put into place. So God being the architect, Jesus being the ambassador, the one that sees it through, or the one that that speaks it, and then the Holy Spirit being the one that actually manifests it. And to me, that's just a, a beautiful illustration of the way that the Holy Spirit works in our lives because we know that Jesus is no longer with us. He is at the right hand of the Father and now he says, I'll not leave you as orphans, but I'll leave you the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. And so that's that was, something that's that was so a really great. important thing too that we, yeah. we talked about that was brought out in our class today, why it was best that Jesus went away. He told his disciples, it's that's best right. that I go away so the Holy Spirit can come because he can be with every believer everywhere at that's any right. stage in history and in time uh, that's ever lived. He, he's been with them, and it continues to be with us today, whereas Jesus was confined while he was on the earth to a physical body and, right. and can only do the things just as you and I could do as far as being limited to their body. And so the Holy Spirit being available to every believer, uh, that, that's, that was really eye-opening in, in our study this week as well. Really had, had some really good discussions in there, a lot of great questions, a lot of good points that were brought out by the members of the class, and uh, so I've really enjoyed being a part of it. Yeah, so it's good. If you have a chance, please come out. It's open to anybody. Yes, the emphasis is young adults. And we're going to be here uh, next Wednesday at 7 p.m. Church here on Sunday at 10. If you don't have a church on, please come and be with us. And we'll see you soon. Thank you.